All right, welcome back, guys. I don't know if this is gonna make any difference, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try and soak myself some water before we uh, before we head out to the smelter demon. I've already cleared the path to there. Otherwise, fighting stuff, I mean, any advantage that might have is probably worn off by the time you get there. You can see that we're still leaving wet footprints. Um, we do still have this archer shooting at us. I'm not actually uh, not actually entirely sure how you get over there. There's like items too, but. Oh well, for now, we killed the smelter demon. That's the plan, anyhow. I'm going back to using my shield. Seems a little bit safer. Oh, I wasn't sure if he was going to explode or not. That he does explode after if he feels like it. Alright, he's powering up, so we want to get as much hurt put onto him as possible. Our timing was a bit off on that roll. Oh no. We got our shield up there. We're just getting burnt a little bit. So our shield's actually good. Like, it's actually really good against his attacks. I've been sort of hesitant to use it. Not actually warranted. It just seems like his attacks should, you know, burn all of your stamina. Okay, he's powering up his sword. We can get more free damage while he does that. Regen our stamina back up. Okay, so now he's dealing a lot of chip damage because of the fire. This is too risky. Shouldn't have done it. Oh god. I was expecting his timing to stay about the same. Oh no, and the explosion. That roll was successful, but right now we're like stuck in the terrain or something? That was very weird. First time I've ever had a glitch like that in Dark Souls. Certainly willing to try and use a life gem. Ooh, probably took off all of the health of that life gem will regen. He does not allow much spacing. That's for sure. Ooh, that's... Fly fire actually flies off the end of the blade on that one. Ooh, dang. He caught me. Got hit during our roll. Seriously, difficult fight. Having a lot more trouble than I did with the frickin' Primal. Oh, Wore myself out of stamina. I didn't quite realize that I had done that to that extent. What a boss. I'll see you guys back at him. I did actually port back to Majula just to um, upgrade my Estus Flask, burn this blind bone Need dust. Armor. But um, I've heard that this guy, if you spend enough souls, I don't know if I have or not, but if you talk to him with zero souls, he'll give you something. In a spot of bother, are we? Here, take this. My compliments. Apparently we have supported him enough. Are so you let's... sure? Well, I may sell out while you're away. Let's, uh, let's check out what that's like. I also got a very helpful comment talking about um, the pedal mask that it actually raises the equipment load. So... 
it's actually actually just incredible. I should pretty much not equip the plume. Unfortunately. But you can see like Equipping it, my equip load percentage is going down, and all of my stats are better. I, it's hard. It's hard for me to admit, but this is good. We should equip it. Um, let's compare it, then, to the Helm of Oris. I know. The plume is gone, guys. I'm so sorry. This cannot be seen by cow cowards. It also raises equip load, um, and is extremely lightweight. Um, provides... Kind of okay stats. I guess the question would be, can you equip other things elsewhere to make up for that? Um, the total equip load, it does provide less total equip load, but it's much lighter weight. And we uh, we can't quite see it. Apparently we are, we are a coward, guys. I don't know what caused that, but... Um, it seems to be the case. They all raise equip load? Well, that's, that's interesting. Like, they don't have great stats on their own. But they're, uh, they're pretty cool. Because they weigh, like, virtually nothing. Like, right now, with nothing, we're at 68.2. This only takes us up to 69.5, equipping those gloves. Hmm. And that's quite a hit. We don't really make that back in any way, shape, or form. Alright, well, very cool. That's um, that's a substantial upgrade to our armor. Both getting a better mask and being able to equip gloves at the same time. Uh, someone also said that the... Um, these, actually, also. So they raise pyro power of pyromancies. Let's go ahead and uh, check out the other equipment that he sells to see what for armor. other effects there are on it. Because there's more of that set. Okay, only those two actually have cool effects, it looks like. What about the others? I still think that the Alva set is pretty underwhelming. I think its description is just good marketing on his part or something like that. Are you sure? Well, I may sell out while you're away. I like the, the transparent... Well, translucent, uh, armor, though. I'm gonna equip that whole set just to see what it looks like. I guess it'll look like I'm naked. But naked in a particularly cool way. I'm pretty much assuming that, uh, being at 69.5 with the Falcon armor is, like, probably optimal. I don't think there's anything of a similar weight class that's better. We've got stuff that's a lot heavier if we want. Also, um, one of the NPCs dropped this at one point. Pretty, pretty freaking cool armor. Figured I would point it out. Um... But yeah, none of this, none of this seems good as an alternative, and then probably similarly on the boots. Um, dark leggings are pretty close, in all honesty, but... Fangirl's boots way too much. No, I think we are good. I'm, an, I'm actually kind of considering losing the Mastodon Halberd for this height, fight. Um, I guess I could try out the, uh, not the Halberd, the Black Knight Ultra Greatsword we have the requirements for. But not for the normal Greatsword, only for the Ultra. We do not have the, uh, the requisite dexterity for the normal Greatsword that I totally have been missing the fact that that requires intelligence and faith. Wow. Okay, that's a pretty big oversight on my part, actually. That could have been disastrous if we were building towards that. Um, hopefully nothing similar is happening with the Ultra Greatsword. Which is like the biggest weapon in terms of its screen. There it is. Okay, cool. Yeah. It has scaling for um, faith. But no requirements. Um, damage would go down a lot. But let's just see the one-handed moveset because we can equip it. Pretty awesome weapon. 
huge range on that jumping attack. Let's pass, though. I'm, like, honestly considering going with, like, the Poison Broadsword and just kind of dropping some shards on it. Or the Magic Mace. Just something with a with a fast attack. Not the Royal Greatsword. That thing's crap. Because I'm actually feeling like mobility is what's killing us against this guy. That if we could get more fast attacks off, that that might be the way to win. Can we equip Turtle Bro armor? If we have this on. Where? Where's my Turtle Bro armor? It's not gone. It can't be gone. Ironclad armor. There we go. No, we can't. It's so heavy. Holy crap. Um, we could get pretty freaking tanky, though. If we were going to go that approach, which I think might actually be better. Can't even wear the ironclad gauntlets. Jeez. I suppose we should throw our rings back on, certainly. Last but not least, we are back at Rosabeth Melfia, and we are going- or Melfia, is that her name? Something like that. Whatever. We're gonna buy a Flame Quartz Ring off of her in order to equip it. Yeah, Rosabeth I'm Melfia. Ha ha ha. She's such a friendly NPC. Alright, let's go ahead and throw her ring on. If we have to unequip other things, that'd be fine, but we don't. And that's actually gonna give us another 50 fire resist, which is quite, quite nice for its equip load. Alright, so I actually mentioned this when I first picked it up, and then I forgot for a long time. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and unequip the life ring. I'm going to equip the Southern Ritual Band plus one. I also moved from the um, Captain Armor to the Knight Armor in order to accommodate that equip burden change. Um, and the reason why is so that I can throw on a Pyromancy Flame. And perhaps... Perhaps those of you that remember very well, or played Dark Souls 1, know what I'm planning on doing. Which is, because you might ask, you know, he's obviously going to be pretty resistant against fire. But, I can myself become very resistant against fire with Flash Sweat. We'll check out, like, I haven't I haven't used this at all. So we'll see how, uh, how useful it feels. And then in terms of, like, what other pyromancies we should be bringing, I'm going to go ahead and give it to, uh, probably just, just Flame Swath. Because it, it just, you know, it's a slot and you just, I don't know, it just deals a ton of damage. If he's capable of taking fire damage at all, that's what we want to be hitting him with. So, alright. Like the 8 million strategy we've tried on this guy, I'll see you guys in there. Alright, down one Estus. We don't need to use um fly, that flash sweat right when we enter. We can save that for when he's powering up because we've got a lot of animation frames and he, you know, doesn't take much damage during it. That's actually respectable damage. Like, I'll take it for free. I won't take it for that trade, though. No. Oh. Oops. Throw that on. No, wrong button. Go faster. We seem to be taking a lot less damage from being in here. That's good. I'd say that, that was pretty successful. He will be exploding. Let's reapply it. We know that we can't deal much damage to him while he's in there. Wrong button again. I don't know why that so much seems like a consumable to me, but uh, apparently it does. He could explode. He chooses not to. Oh, 
the real question is, if this, uh, if this wears off, will I find time to get it back on, A, and B, like, when will that be? <laughs> oh god. Fail roll? Oh no. Mm. Oh. Very important. I'm gonna ask this up twice. Might have been an overreaction to my health bar, but... He could explode. He does explode. Flash Sweat still uh, seems to be going strong. Trying real hard to stay, uh, stay sane, not get greedy on damage. Flash Sweat is down right now. That's my next priority. Actually, I want to heal first, but... Got our flash sweat back. Healed up. This is looking like a good run. Oh no, I got just a little bit impatient there. Last Estus flask. Not getting greedy. Not getting greedy, don't have the stamina. I'll get greedy when I can kill him. That's my plan. Like now? Yes. Yes! Dude, Smelter Demon's pretty close to the top of the heap for, uh, for difficult bosses so far in this game. I did it! Yeah, me too. Bloodstain here? That seems a little bit like crazy talk. Flame butterfly and a poor, poor sign, poor kind shield. Well, it's got a pig head, so it must be good, right? It's just got really high flame resist. Looks like the thing to it. Strangely poor sign shield. Pighead looks eerily authentic, but is an imitation. Though the shield's defensive capacity is ordinary, it may spook an unsupposed ah, un sorry, what was that? Unsuspecting foe. Like boom, him with the shield. Uh, get him with the pig. Yeah. It spooks people. You know they don't like that. I don't think we should have it equipped though. I think we should stick with the Drang Lake shield. Another bonfire. Where does this go? It's gotta be somewhere that we've been, I'd imagine. Oh, no, it's the, uh... Isn't this the guy that snipes me all the time? Nope. Nope, this is much further on. This is, like... So he's mostly, like, you kill him for that bonfire. That's, like, the big reason in terms of progressing through this level is that if you kill him, you get a bonfire right here, which... Is a little bit helpful for a little while. <laughs> it was certainly harder than beating the level without that bonfire. But, you know, we also get 40,000 souls and, um, and his soul. We like getting his soul. Let's head back to Majula and check and see, um, I suspect Malin might be selling his armor. And then I might go check with, uh, Ornifex and Strahd and see about getting a giant fire sword, because that could be awesome.